So, I don't agree with you and a whole bunch of what you're saying. A man can't make a man a man. A man only learns from another man by watching a man's mistakes. Listen to my voice. I always sound like a man. Because I'm a man who've learned from watching other men make mistakes. What taught me the essence of a man were those women that I don't have in my life anymore. The compassion that a man needs. The loving that a man gives his son. He gets that love and that respect from his mother. I got no love from my father. See what I'm saying? I was taught how to love my son and teach my son to be a man through the love I gained from women. That's compassion. I can go kick my son's ass 15 days a week, beat the hell out of him, and try to teach him how to be a man, man, man. But all he'll ever see is the mistakes I've made. Why am I not where I'm supposed to be while I'm trying to teach him not to be like me? You cannot learn how to be a real man just from learning from men. Do you understand what I'm saying? Can you feel what I'm trying to say? I can sit here and tell every young man this and that and this and that and blah, 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 and all they will ever see is what I do. My words reflect nothing. My words mean nothing to another man. My actions mean something to another man. My word is my bond. If I say I'm going to do something, that is the word of man. My actions is what show people what kind of man I am. You cannot learn how to be a man from another man. What teaches a man to be a man is not just compassion, not just respect, not just loyalty. It's that feeling you get when you've done the right thing to better the people around you. I can't teach my son to be a man. I can teach him to learn from a man's mistakes to make him a better man. I can speak in many different philosophies and I've never wanted to speak on any of your videos because simply I don't like you. I don't like how you come off when you talk about black women because you say you're married to one. I am too, sometimes. Life is like the stock market. It goes up and down, there's peaks and valleys, and sometimes when you are a man, and you are a black man and everything around you has caved in who do you turn to? who can you talk to? and I can say you something right now there's a handful of men like me because when I when my male friends when I sit back in my yard I listen my psychic told me, yeah, I had a psychic, that I am a battery. People who can't speak can speak to me. I have heard more man problems than any other man I know. And I learned from listening to men's mistakes. Not all men have a man to go talk to. Now, what I'm saying is something right now that 99.4% men won't even admit. We cry. We need a shoulder to lean on. And we need other men to talk to. Now, I know somebody said the comment that you made was gay. I don't think the comments that you make are gay. I think the actions while you're making the comments make you come off as if you are gay. And a gay man is different than a straight man. Because a gay man is more in tune with his feminine side. He can look at things from a different perspective. His compassion overrules all emotion. 
he actually literally loves the company of being with another man. He has female friends. He has a place to go cry. A real man don't have a shoulder. Real man bottle it inside. Real man self implode. True man. A true man feels. He cries. He loves and he has this compassion without having to love another man. Now let me get back on point. When it comes to a black man and problems, most of the time he has nobody to go talk to. His problems become like a weight, an anchor. They begin to pull him down further. And without that female to bring his mind out of that dumpster that he's buried himself in, because no man is more harder on his own soul than a man who walks in black skin. No man is willing to die inside time after time after time, killing himself just to keep his mouth shut more than a man in black skin. We have been old told over and over and over time and time again be the bigger person don't worry about it brah it's just like that I remember being told as a kid oh just because he called you nigger don't worry about it you'll hear that a lot more before you grow old and die odds are based on you know your race you won't live to get to see your grandkids you may not even live to have kids. Just go on back to your desk and not worry about it. The strain and stress upon a black man is true. The dramas and pitfalls that we face are real. But to say that a black man is the only man that can teach a man, a black man, how to be a man is wrong. Black women have been raising black men throughout time. They have made some mistakes because look at this group of black men now. But look at the black men that were before. Look at the black man that hustled, worked, and died. Look at the black man who died to try to save the family. And you look at a group of people now who have been taught, that nigga ain't shit. Fuck him. He can't do for you and your baby. That mentality broke down some black women. They can't raise a black man. The unit is completely fractured because little black girls can't raise black men. An old black woman made a black man. Then the men let themselves be corrupted, but the knowledge ain't gone. The power to teach a man to be a man solely lies in the man himself. I spent a lot of my time around older people, older black men, older white men, older men in general, in which I learned something wrong about myself from each and every one of them. I've learned how not to carry on and treat a woman from each and every one of them men. What did I learn from hanging around the these oldsters? Was it their stories? No. I don't listen to what a man got to say. I watch a man's actions. A man can't teach a man to be a man with compassion and love. That don't create a man. Men make monsters. You know, it used to take a village to raise a child. It takes culture, society, and real, true reality to actually build a man and as far as I'm concerned with you I will never make another video comment to any other videos that you ever make because I don't like your videos but that don't say I don't like you I just don't like how you talk how you think because that's not too manly in my book but for Jay Ryder and Tina y'all keep on doing what y'all do and this man he's been too. Talk about.